Something that I really like about Motorola's range of devices is the quick access to the camera from basically just shaking your phone in a certain manner. Well now you can get an application available for pretty much any Android device that will mimic that and it's really quick and really convenient and today I'm going to be giving you guys a first look and the application itself is called Quick Camera. So hey guys, I'm Michael from Copper vs Glass, let's take a look. First off, a demo of the application, and all you need to do is just flick your wrist twice, and then the camera will open, and then you're ready then to take a picture. It's really quick and also really convenient, and just in general is slightly quicker in my opinion than doing it from something like the lock screen. Now in terms of the actual settings, they are quite bare in terms of what you can or can't do. You can turn the actual quick camera on or off, so obviously if you don't want it running in the background, then by all means you don't have to, and it is currently still in beta, so if there are any bugs or anything, do keep that in mind, but don't necessarily give it a bad rating on the Play Store. Now you've also got the app settings and gesture settings, so again you can kind of customise it to just how you like basically. Now one feature that I really like is the custom gesture settings, which allows you to tweak pretty much everything so that you can get the perfect launch when you're shaking your phone every time. Now I also like the fact that you can also do it when the device is turned off, but do keep in mind that this will use battery power, because if you do have it for instance sitting on a table and you pick up your phone and shake it, it is then going to launch into the camera straight away, so it may eat into battery in the background which some people may or may not want. In terms of the actual shake itself, if you do it in certain ways it doesn't open the camera, you need to give it a proper quick kind of flick with the wrist in a diagonal fashion for it to actually open the camera itself. Now it doesn't use a third party camera, it is the stock Google camera or any camera application of your choice when you first launch it, which is definitely a great feature. And that is pretty much going to do it guys, it's a very simple tweak to Android that allows you to quick launch the camera from pretty much anywhere in the device. You can also do it from in an application if needs be, and like I mentioned you can do it from the locked status when the phone is completely turned off. I'll have full links in the description down below so you guys can download this application for yourself, however you will need to be part of the Google Plus community to do so. If you guys have got any great applications or tweaks you want us to have a look at here at Copper vs Glass, be sure to leave them in the comments section down below or on Twitter at Copper versus glass. If you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to get more great content. I'm Michael from Copper versus Glass, thanks very much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.